Hi everyone, it's Al at Derrick and 33. Today I'm going to cover another plumbing job um, which I expect a lot of you have from time to time and that's a leak under your sink. Um, I'm going to cover the one where it's the sink waste. Um, now there's, there's my sink waste and you can see I've actually deliberately made this start leaking just so I can show you how to do the job. Um, this is a standard style of sink waste uh, and you can see it's, um, it's just got a nut there, a nut in the middle to turn this U-trap round and a one on the top of the waste. Um, generally if you do get a sort of waste you might find a lot of times you can just tighten it up it might just be loose so do try just giving it a twist with your hand and see if it will tighten up then run some water down and see if it will stop if that's not the case then we'll take it off now if it is a bit stiff you might need a pair of these footprints if it is a bit stiff just to crack the nut because a lot of plumbers do go a bit mad and tighten them a bit too far so if, I'm assuming you've cracked it uh, and it will undo by hand so just undo the the top nut and undo the back one um, this is also good if your sink waste is blocked anyway and you want to clear it out and um, you know make sure you've got a nice clean trap and take the whole thing away like so keep it tilted and then none of the water will come out and have a bowl handy like so so you can tip the water in okay that's all you've got to do now as you look at your trap you'll see that there is a washer inside there you see that now generally all you've got to do is replace that washer a lot of the times that is the problem take the washer off renew it and put another one back on there is also um, a washer on the back there on this nut you can see it there um, and that again you can renew or there is another way which is just to put some PTFE um, around the front end of the pipe there wrap it right round tight and put it back on and do it up um, and that again will also do your waste for you um, now the other thing that can often leak is this part here um, this is a bit that screws right through um, and it's fairly easy to do again um, you can buy the part in, in a whole piece if you want it's very cheap um, and it's a sink waste it's the part that screws through through it comes in a little packet it's not very expensive um, and to undo that literally you just need a screwdriver there um, just undo that screw there okay the top will come off um, and just replace the whole part um, I think it's the best bet rather than messing about with a washer in there uh, and the one underneath um, I'm not going to take mine off because once you take these off um, and I haven't got one to replace it with at the moment but if I do it probably leak if I try to fit that back you know without being renewed really once you've taken it out um, there is another way if you if you didn't have one spare and it was leaking from here um, you can take it out and just put some plumbers mate under there uh, and screw it back down it will probably hold but so I'm not going to take that out today today I'm just showing you basically how to do the waste um, now there is another um, little washer in here that sometimes leaks as well uh, I think I've got that on the camera there and that's this nut here um, again if we can undo this one and you'll see again that there is a washer in there as well can you see it down there okay there's a washer in there and again you can renew that one uh, and while you're at it clean the trap out if it's, if it's any mucky like that give it a wash out because you've a good chance to clean it out replace that washer uh, and, and put it back um, and basically once we get it back we should all be back in trim um, you can start these up and, and get them started um, yeah, let's get around I'm, I'm right handed <laughs> uh, and we're getting started back on uh, and once you renew those washers um, again you know this one pops off I'll just show you there's the top washer there and you see it there and it does just ping off you can just take it away there's a little groove in there for it as you can see there's a groove there for the washer to sit um, so basically I don't need a new one on this it's quite modern but you can get these from a plumbing shop if yours has gone and you can put it on there um, another little trick if you don't want to if you haven't got a washer and you've got some PTFE or some plumber's hemp you can wind that around uh, and boss white it if you haven't got any of the washers but it is always best to get the best you know to get the proper thing in my book okay and other than that now I'll just show you how to put it back okay here's our thing uh, um, I'm doing this
this all one-handed because I'm holding the camera with this hand, but just, just slide your, your trap back on that end there, okay? Leave this nut loose in the middle. Uh, you might have a double-nutted trap, but don't worry about it. Just leave them loose for now until you get this started and back in the right position. Get your trap back on there, okay, and get it started with your hand on there, okay? Don't do it up too tight. These, these things are meant only to be hand tight, really, um, but a lot of plumbers go berserk and um, you know they they put grips on them <laughs> which isn't really the right thing get it started get your nut going i'm, I'm having trouble simply because i can't hold it with my other hand because i'm holding the camera <laughs> get it started and get that one done um, all you've got to do now is nip it up nice and tight with your hand okay give it a good you know just nice like that and the same with the back one give it a good just a good twist like that and that'll do you and that will be it uh, and that should be the job done. If there are any tiny whips, still a fraction, you, you can use grips like this, just give it a final you know, half a turn like that, but you shouldn't need to, okay? You shouldn't need to. Uh, and that simply um, is about it, good people. Um, that's how to re repair a leak under your sink, on your sink waste. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. And uh, keep in tune, Derrick and 33, all my videos, and don't forget to visit my website. Thanks very much, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>